So these are the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 and just like the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, these have an all new design to them which personally I didn't expect and their redesign is even bigger than the Pros because these are no longer in ear earbuds like the Galaxy Buds 2. And unfortunately, these earbuds struggle to compete with their direct competitors, the AirPods 4, which are kind of sick. And unlike the AirPods 4, which work well with both iPhones and Android devices, these are better used with an Android Android or a Galaxy device. Nonetheless, let's see what the Galaxy Buds 3 are all about. Let's see if it's worth upgrading if you have the Galaxy Buds 2. And let's see how they compare to other ANC earbuds out there. So first, there's pricing. Now, the Galaxy Buds 3 have gotten a price increase to $180, whereas the Galaxy Buds 2 retailed for $150, and they like to go on sale for $130 on a regular basis. And for comparison's sake, the AirPods 4 with ANC also retail for $180 or you can get them without ANC for $130. Nonetheless, if you want to pick any of these earbuds up, they'll be linked down below or you can always press on the YouTube shopping button. Actually, I think it's over here. And if you want to further support the channel, pick yourself up a Ridge Wallet by pressing on the YouTube shopping button and by entering code YouTube10 to get 10% off at checkout. Now, I hate carrying wallets, but you still need something to store your credit cards for when tap to pay isn't available. You need somewhere to store your ID and a real men always carry some cold hard cash on them. And with the Ridge Wallet, you can hold up to 12 cards and keep them safe with RFID blocking. And you can hold your cash in a super sleek wallet that comes in a whole lot of styles. Again, press on the YouTube shopping button and use code YouTube10 to save 10%. So first, there's the case. The Galaxy Buds 3 have the same case as the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. This case is decently small, so it's not super noticeable when it's in your pocket. It charges via a USB-C port as it should, and it has wireless charging. But personally, I feel that this case is a downgrade from the Galaxy Buds 2's case. Now, yes, this case is a little thinner, but it does have a slightly larger footprint because this case is a little wider. But also, the usability of this case isn't as good as Samsung previous cases. There's no lip to grab onto when you're going to open the lid of this case. The spring is a little too strong, it's a little awkward to take these earbuds out, and the lid is a little too long. And when you're going to put these earbuds back into their case, you got to make extra sure that the stems are going in first before you can actually drop them in. Whereas with the Galaxy Buds 2's case, this lid opens up much smoother and the earbuds drop into their case much more seamlessly. The Galaxy Buds 3 case it just feels like a knockoff and compared to the AirPods 4 it's not even close. First off the AirPods 4's case is smaller and thinner which was a surprise to me. The lid opens much smoother and like I mentioned earlier these earbuds just drop in and when it comes to overall size the Galaxy Buds 3 still rank the same as the Galaxy Buds 2. The AirPods 4 and AirPods Pro 2's cases are smaller, so are the Sony WF-1000XM5's case and the Pixel Bud Pro 2's case, and this case is smaller than the Sennheiser Momentum 4's, and Bose's cases are just huge by comparison. Now, like I just said, I feel that the Galaxy Buds 3's case is a downgrade from the previous generation, and I also think that the design of the earbuds themselves are a downgrade as well. And the battery life isn't all that different. Now, the Galaxy Galaxy Buds 3s have a combined advertised battery life of 24 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on. The earbuds themselves can go for 5 straight hours and the case can supply almost 4 additional chargers. And with their ANC turned off, they have a combined advertised battery life of 30 hours. The earbuds themselves can go for 6 hours plus those almost 4 charges from the case. And for comparison's sake, the Galaxy Buds 2s have a combined advertised battery life of 18 hours with the active noise cancellation turned on. The earbuds themselves can go for 6 straight hours and the case can supply almost 2 additional charges. But with the active noise cancellation turned off, they can go for as long as 30 hours as well because the earbuds can go for as long as 11 hours, which is insane. So the Galaxy Buds 3s have much better battery life performance with their active noise cancellation turned on, but the Galaxy Buds 2 have much better stamina with their active noise cancellation turned off, which could be a big deal to you if you plan on a using your earbuds while you're at work. Maybe you work retail or in a warehouse or maybe you drive a lot and you need your earbuds to keep up with you for multiple hours.
But if we were to compare the Galaxy Buds 3s to their most direct competitors, the AirPods 4 with A and C, their battery life to case size ratio doesn't compare because the AirPods 4 also have a combined battery life of 30 hours with their A and C turned off and a combined battery life of 24 hours with their active noise cancellation turned on, but they have a much smaller case. The main drawback is though, the AirPods don't have as much stamina as the Galaxy Buds 3, but I think that's fine because they're much smaller and sleeker. And now let's talk about the earbuds themselves because there's a lot going on here. So first off, the biggest surprise here is that Samsung moved away from being in-ear earbuds like the Galaxy Buds 2 and instead these are now earbuds like the AirPods 4. But compared to the AirPods 4, the Galaxy Buds 3 look and feel bulky and they look more like knockoff AirPods. Since Apple has had a lot of time to refine their earbuds, the AirPods 4 are smaller and sleeker than the Galaxy Buds 3. The AirPods 4 also fit better than the Galaxy Buds 3 because they're a little smaller and their nozzle is better aimed into your ear canal so as a result the AirPods 4 do a slightly better job of passively blocking out noise than the Galaxy Buds 3. Now don't get me wrong since these are just earbuds they aren't going to create a seal with your ear canal like the Galaxy Buds 2 so they are going to let in more noise pollution than a pair of in-ear earbuds so this noise pollution will ruin your sound quality a little bit. So being able to passively block out noise is why people choose to use in-ear earbuds. However, for some people, in-ear earbuds like these can be a little uncomfortable. So that's why they opt to use earbuds like the AirPods 4 or the Galaxy Buds 3. Now, I think it's great and all that Samsung is giving you the option of earbuds or in-ear earbuds like Apple has done for a very long time now. But Samsung's earbuds lack the refinement that the AirPods 4 have been able to go through for multiple years now. Nonetheless, the Galaxy Buds 3s fit well for earbuds, but they feel bulky when compared to their most direct competitors. But when it comes to connectivity, each earbud establishes a connection with your phone. So if you just want to use one earbud at a time, you can use either one, it doesn't matter. Latency is not an issue on these earbuds, so you can use them to watch videos with on your phone. And when it comes to audio codecs, these earbuds have support for SBC and AAC, but if you use them with a Galaxy device, then you're gonna have support for Samsung's ultra high quality audio codec which is just going to upscale your music but it is going to take an additional toll on the battery life but when it comes to actually listening to music with these earbuds since these are not in your -ear earbuds like the galaxy buds 2 the galaxy buds 3 are going to sound and perform very different the galaxy buds 3s have a very bass heavy sound signature which is typical for earbuds like these because since noise pollution is going to get in they and that is going to ruin the mids and the instrumentals on these earbuds they tend to have a lot more bass to basically compensate for the added noise pollution but one of the things that I don't like about these earbuds is that their highs are a little too low, which is the complete opposite with the Galaxy Buds 3 Pros. So I do recommend that you go into their app and raise the mids and highs on these earbuds, which you can only directly do if you have an Android device because you can't download their app on an iPhone. But again, if we were to directly compare these to the AirPods 4, the AirPods 4 do a much better job of bringing out the mids and vocals so they don't sound anywhere near as shallow and their bass hits a lot harder and their bass resonates a lot more as well. Overall, the Galaxy Buds 3s sound good enough to get the job done and they're good enough for working out with, but if you want the best sound quality, then you do want to go with a pair of in-ear earbuds because you're going to get a lot better clarity and your music isn't going to get ruined by external noise pollution. So simply put, yes, the Galaxy Buds 2 sound and perform better than the Galaxy Buds 3s simply because of their in-ear fit. So you're going to get much better detail in the mids and instrumental. And the bass is a little cleaner as well. But then there are the meter controls on these earbuds which are completely different from the Galaxy Buds 2. First off, we have the stems which you can pinch to play or pause your music. You can skip through your music and you can accept or reject phone calls. But also you can swipe up or down to adjust your volume and this is a big deal because the meter controls on these are the same as the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Samsung isn't withholding the volume control gesture like 
like Apple is with their AirPods 4 and AirPods Pro 2. And even though I really like the AirPods 4, I really wish that you can swipe up and down to adjust your volume. So I think that's really nice. But personally, I still prefer the media controls on the Galaxy Buds 2s because I always feel that pinching on stems feels a little awkward and the swiping gesture is on the back of the stem instead of on the front like with the AirPod Pro 2s, which feels even more awkward. However, I will admit that the swiping gesture on the Galaxy Buds 3 is better than the tap at the edge feature on the Galaxy Buds 2 to adjust your volume, but I feel that once you've got it, you're good. But then there is the active noise cancellation on these earbuds. Now, I feel that Samsung has always struggled with their active noise cancellation on the earbuds, and that's still the case with the Galaxy Buds 3s, especially now since these are no longer in your -ear earbuds. Now, when it comes to my 2024 ANC earbuds ranking list, in first place, we do have the Sennheiser Momentum 4s, which block out a ton of noise, but they also go in super deep into your ear canals, plus they, re they have a really bulky case. Right below them are the AirPod Pro 2s, which are a lot more comfortable. Right below them are the Sony WF-1000XM5s, which aren't as comfy because of their foam ear tips can get a little itchy after a while. Right below them are the Bose QC earbuds, the new ones for 2024. Below them are the AirPod 4s, and below them are the Bose QC Ultra earbuds. Then right below them are the Sony Link Buds S. Below them are the Pixel Buds 2 Pro. Below them are the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 2. Below them are the Sony Link Buds Fit. Below them are the Galaxy Buds 3. And below them are the Beat Studio Buds Plus. So obviously these aren't all of the ANC earbuds on the market because there are a lot, but I think that these are some of the most important ones for 2024, early 2025. But more importantly, the Galaxy Buds 3 block out less noise than the Galaxy Buds 2. And well, that's because the Galaxy Buds 3s don't passively block out as much noise as the Galaxy Buds 2s because they aren't in your -ear earbuds. However, we can't use that as an excuse because the AirPods 4 also don't passively block out a lot of noise, but those things still manage to block out a lot of noise. So the ANC on the Galaxy Buds 3 is useful if like let's say you're on a bus and it can help reduce a road noise, but if active noise cancellation is very important to you, I do recommend that you look at something else. And then there's the ambient mode on these earbuds and it's the same as the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro. This ambient mode sounds good, but there is a very slight hissing in the background and people's voices aren't as prominent as I'd want them to be while outside. But besides that, the ambient mode on these earbuds is good and their microphone array does a great job of blocking out wind noise when walking outdoors. However, when compared to the AirPods 4, this ambient mode doesn't sound as natural as the AirPod 4. But finally, here's the microphone test, and the mic on the Galaxy Buds 3s performs slightly better than the microphone found on the Galaxy Buds 2s. Now, the mic on the Galaxy Buds 3s sounds and performs the same as the mic on the Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, and I feel that this mic does a slightly better job of focusing on your voice than the mic found on the Galaxy Buds 2s. But for comparison's sake, these are the AirPods 4, and for all intents and purposes, this mic sounds and performs the same as the AirPod Pro 2. And while in a quiet room, this mic does a better job of focusing on my voice than the mic on the Galaxy Buds 3s. But something that both the AirPods 4 and Galaxy Buds 3s do very well is dealing with noise pollution. Because right now, both of these earbuds are doing a good job of blocking out all of this road noise. Because for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're gonna clearly hear all of this road noise. But if you were to switch back over to the the Galaxy Buds 3s, it is severely reduced. However, I do feel that the AirPods 4 have better clarity on my voice. Now, the Galaxy Buds 2 also do a good job of blocking out all of this road noise. However, the Galaxy Buds 3s do a better job of keeping clarity on your voice than the Galaxy Buds 2s. And when it comes to blocking out chatter, the Galaxy Buds 2s do a decent job of blocking out their noise pollution as well.
However, both the AirPods 4 and Galaxy Buds 3s do a better job of dealing with this noise pollution and keeping your voice clear. Because right now, the Galaxy Buds 3s are doing a great job of blocking out all of this chatter. Because for comparison's sake, if we were to switch over to my lapel microphone, you're going to clearly hear all of this chatter. But if we were to switch back over to the Galaxy Buds 3s, it is severely reduced. So the Galaxy Buds 3s have a good performing microphone on them and they manage to block out a lot of noise pollution. However, the AirPods 4s still have better clarity to them than the Galaxy Buds 3. But with all that being said, I think it's great that Samsung is now giving people the option of earbuds or in-ear earbuds, because even though they have their drawbacks, earbuds like the Galaxy Buds 3s are more comfortable than in-ear earbuds. However, I can't help but feel that the Galaxy Buds 3 look and feel like knockoff AirPods, and it's even more apparent when compared to the AirPods 4, which got some very impressive refinement recently. The case itself is slightly larger than the Galaxy Buds 2's case, and it's not as sleek. The earbuds themselves feel, fit, and look bulky. These earbuds have a very bass-heavy sound signature, and they sound very shallow, and their ANC isn't all that impressive. The only good thing about these earbuds is their mic, and they still trail behind the AirPods 4. So if you already have the Galaxy Buds 2, or if you're looking for a pair of decent in-ear earbuds for your Galaxy device, then I recommend that you either stay with or get the Galaxy Buds 2s. Or if you're an Android or a Galaxy user and you're looking for a pair of comfortable earbuds, then I'd recommend that you get the AirPods 4 because these will offer a better user experience even if you're using an Android device. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video. So hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up, they'll be linked down below. And if you want to further support the channel, check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great. And you know I can be very particular. So I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.